So, yeah, so it is creepy. What's in here anyway? What the fuck? Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? So, hi guys, hi we guys. just finally made it. We are in Humberstone. Humberstone. So, yeah, this is a ghost town in the north of Chile. And the coolest thing is, we've got a guide today. We've got a guy showing us around. Yes, yeah, so that would be great. And intent. your name was? Rene. Rene. So, yes, so Rene is going to be showing us around how great it is. Should we go? Yeah. So, we've just got into Humberstone Ghost Town. So, this is where we are today. Here's a little map of the place. The what? The market. market. Oh, market. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. So it's quite a big area. That was our little guide. That's our guide for today. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, we've got a guy showing us around. It may not feel so much as a ghost town because there's quite a lot of tourists here. It's Sunday, so it's, Sunday. it's packed. So there's families here. Apparently a lot of families come here uh, on holidays and stuff. A lot of them had relatives who used to live here, so that's why they come back and visit. So it's quite cool. The official date of the closure of this office was 1960, but okay. the people was relentless to stay here. They didn't want to move. Ah. Before the, the 30s, this place was run by the Chilean government. Mm -hmm. The conditions improved like way a lot. Yeah. And people just didn't want to move because it was good to work here. They didn't move, so the government please, uh, first uh, Cut the energy, then cut the water. Oh God! The people still Forced remain them out. here. Wow. Yeah, and by the 1962, when the World Cup happened, the the government, the Chilean government, t took advantage of this situation of the all the media, all the press yeah. covering the World Cup, and they put the army here, and they took the people out by force. And this is the material, the, the raw material that is called caviche. The raw material is this. This is what the miners extracted. This is it. Most of the time it's white. Okay. So these rocks were boiled and that process separated the particles on the, the rock from the material. Yeah. This is the main avenue of the place. The so, main, the main so street. And these houses were not for every single person in Humber or the regular worker. These were for the administratives okay. or the VIP people. For okay. example, that was the doctor's house. Let's have a look. <laughs> so these were toys that they had. Sort of like a little train set and stuff. Yeah, are, you, are you allowed to touch? Or? Yeah, no, you can touch. Yeah. This is an a open train. Museum. Okay, a train, yeah. Did the kids work as well? Or? Kids, uh, during the British administration, yes, they worked from six, seven years old. Oh, wow. Wow. The Chilean government took over. No, they didn't work. They had to go to school. Wow. They were the ones, little kids, yeah. uh, were the ones who put the dynamite cartridge on the homes because of their skin homes. Ah, okay. So that was their, their job, their position. It's putting the dynamite in. Yeah. I imagine there was a lot of accidents. Oh, of course. Oh yeah. Fun. Reminds me a bit of the Wild West here. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Yes. It's very, very nice um, reference. Yeah. The, <laughs> That's what it feels like a little know, bit. Sometimes the British administrators of these places also have, they, um, they used to have a very strong uh, American influence. So that's why it kind of um, feels like this. The, the, the rich people that live in the Salt Peter time, they were very uh, strongly American influenced. It was cool to be American-like. So all we know is that living conditions here were properly bad before the 1930s. And uh, it's so sad that our British used to like treat them badly. Kids Us bloody Brits. Yeah. It's on the fall down. <laughs> You know, I'm the most uh, accepted tour guide because I don't believe in anything. But yeah. This place at night is, it is a phenomenon sym symphony of sounds. Really? Oh. <laughs> Are you allowed to visit this place at night? Uh, well, not right now. Oh, in okay. Past, we used to carry out tours at night. Oh, okay. They were magical. Yeah. Because we carried out those tours with 
gas lamps, dress like oh. the people from that time. That, oh, that wow. would have been amazing. So we've got a little ice cream break. Oh, maybe I will have one then. Yeah? Yeah, I have this one. Do you want that one? Yeah. So this is like a South American plaza, like pretty. Yeah. Plaza de Armas. Yeah. 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 The Plaza de Armas, the main square. The main square. So the Spaniards, when they designed their, their cities, their towns, they used to put the square in the very single middle spot of the place. Mm -hmm. So everyone had the same possibility or distance to go into the weapons in case of a Mapuche's right. Ah, so right. that's why they, that's they why stored the weapons in the main square. And that's where the name comes from. Mm. I did not know that. That's the reason. This is the market. Humberstone, uh, from the beginning, had a main square, oh, sorry, main square, um, market, and a general store. Okay. The difference between the market and the general store, the market was the one in charge to sell fish and fruits and vegetables. Okay. Guys, this place is a real deal. Oh. And regular tours do not bring the tourists here. Oh, okay. Because, you know what, the last government that we had, Sebastián Piñera, you know, he was uh, from the right wing. Yeah. And when he was running out this place, he, well, not he, but the, the management, used to tell the tour guides, uh, we don't get political on these things, and we don't talk about politics on the tour, so don't bring the people here because it's too political. Well, in my opinion, this is not political, it's reality, it's mm -hmm. what it was. This place is called the Buque. Or the ship. The ship. Yeah. Okay. And this was a place in which the single workers used to live. Okay. And this place is from the is from the British administration. Okay. The British in, imposed a system that was called hot bed system. The two shifts of twelve hours. Yeah. While the night tour was working, the day tour was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And so they they move when the night tour returned home. They exchange places, yeah. and the person was gonna get into a hot bed. Okay, yeah. Uh, of course, imagine the fleas, the, oh. the dirt, <laughs> all the bugs. Oh yeah. God! These places were occupied by four single person. Four. Two in the morning, two in the night. Okay. Yeah. And this is the house. This is the house. Also, they put windows. They didn't and have windows. The original ship house, the movie house, didn't have windows. Mm -hmm. So just this little tiny square. Yeah. This is it. A toilet on the bottom. Yeah. Was not a toilet. Every single house had a gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everyone. Okay. So you put your depositions and you take it up there. Yeah. And dump it where into just a hole. In the, in the barrel. You dump it. Just dump it into a barrel, yeah. and then the barrels taken away. Every single day was taken away oh. by someone who had the worst job ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. Yeah. the situation gets worse. Oh. Four people living here, two yeah. in the morning, two in the, in the, the day, in the night. Yeah. Sometimes you arrive to the place with your family as a married person. Mm -hmm. So it was not something automatically that you arrive to Humberson and the boss would say, oh, you're married, go to the married house. Yeah. Go to the marriage sector because you're married, you have kids. I'm gonna put you immediately into a marriage house. Mm -hmm. No, it's not just with your family, but sometimes here used to live four people with their four families. Mm. Oh. oh, God. So four families living in this place. God. 30 people living here because remember, families were numerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So imagine wow. the smell, oh. the conditions. God. Living here with no toilet. That bucket uh, must get filled up fast. With their cans, with yeah. the positions here. Oh. But you can I just have a look in one of these yeah. ones? Yeah. This is another restore. So this is just how it... This is how it was. How do you get 30, 30 people in there? Airy as well, yeah? Airy? Yeah, here. Yeah. Do you know how many people used to live here? In Hammersfield, at the best moment, before the 30s, there were 3,000 people living. 3,000? When the Chilean government uh, started to administrate the place, 1,000, 1,500. Smaller. 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 Of course, this ring the bell. Three times in memory of students, teachers, parents, and priests that walk through yeah, these classrooms. Ring the bell. Three times. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> One of the schools here apparently is haunted. 
But, uh, the public school. Oh, the is that somewhere school. else? Yeah, is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Our normal activities happen according to the witness. Yeah. I haven't seen anything, but never you know, experienced I, anything. I have. I have heard too many uh, people telling me about it. That what can I say? Yeah. So you are a skeptic, but you never felt weird or anything. No, but walking around at night. Yeah. No, no. No, I have worked at night here, and I have heard noises. But as I am a skeptic person, I associate that well, probably the wood it's expanding or retracting yeah. because of the change of the conditions. Oh. So what sort of is it? Just creaks you heard creaks, and stuff like that? Yeah, no, no, I haven't heard like cries or oh, okay. screams. Okay. <laughs> but for example, the people who work here at night regularly, they say that the theater's lights turn on at night. Oh, okay. They hear people clapping. Oh. Things like that. I've heard, yeah, children running around in children the school. Around, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, what's important of this place? Uh, not because of the hotel. That's very irrelevant. Yeah. But this place, the ballroom. Because this ballroom was before the hotel. So on the late period, on the beginnings, when this place was run by British, single men had very little chance to see women during the working days. Yeah. Almost no chance. So, <laughs> every four months, there were the season dances, and those events were carried out here. When you wanted to meet a girl, you had to attend to these dances. At the entrance, the um, supervisor of the labor was with a bag, sack, with numbers inside. Yeah. So they give you a number, and you have to see which girl has your number. Oh. So that was your girl for the night. Oh. It was the Tinder of the time. I've never <laughs> heard of that before. Imagine, oh. you were into a girl. Yeah. Uh. The number 11. Yeah. But you ha had the 12, oh. the 14. Yeah. You had to go with the one who had 11. And man, it's yeah. Well, it's uh. Uh. Oh, God. And I wanted I like 11 too. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it was very very difficult and complicated to get a relationship yeah. working. So this is the swimming pool. Cool. You wouldn't mind the dive? You wouldn't mind it. It's quite yeah. deep. Yeah. yeah. Very deep. No shallow end. Of course yeah, the chlorodization process were non-existent so the <laughs> water was greenish. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and also always people tell ah but only the rich could come to the swimming pool. No. Every single person could attend to the swimming pool. What's that? The ratonero is like calling something the mouse trap or the mouse house. So if you did something wrong, you were shoved in there and... That's correct. Wow. For one day, two days or three days without water and without food. God. And it's what, pitch black, I imagine? Yeah, and yeah. it's very hot during the day and very cold during the night. People wow. die in there? Uh, probably not. No? But okay. Very mental torture and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damage. Yeah. 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 And this is a marriage house. Mm -hmm. This marriage is the marriage. And this is like a modern marriage house, so you can visit it. So this was it. So they had a whole yeah. everything toilet, the bedrooms. That's a toilet. Oh, uh, yeah. Kitchen. The container. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. God, this is so much better than the other one. And this is just one family. Yeah, one, one family. family. Yeah, this is quite nice. <laughs> Do it up a bit, it's quite good. Yeah, a bit of pain. Remember that you're seeing this with your mother eyes. Families were 11, 14, 15. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because this for me and Renee Beautiful. and Paulina, that's very good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And this no. is a theater. This is a cool theater. Have a seat. Do you want to sing me a song? Yeah. You can't go now? No. Because... Uh, no. Maybe it's dangerous. No, no it's not dangerous. They're boring. Very boring. <laughs>
they didn't want people to go there for a you can look down, there's like a trap door. It's open? This is. That's another entrance, but it's not the, the original one. But so I mean, it's not the, the big one. So what was down here? This the is dressing rooms. This is the general store. Oh, yeah. So here you can... Like a supermarket. Pictures, yeah. yes. mm. You can go in like these places. Yeah. <laughs> When the Chilean government took over the place, they instated these four meals per day of 600 calories. 600 calories. It was the necessary 6, to survive. Yeah. Now imagine the workers before the ferry just eating bread. Oh. And this is the school. This one? This is the public school, the haunted one. The haunted one. Oh. So this is apparently haunted. <laughs> This is where you hear kids running around, kids on the swing. You know, the that there were too many children deaths. Deaths? Really? Oh. Not here, but in the whole place. When the children just to work, oh. it was very common to have diseases. They work with dynamite. Yeah. And with dynamite, dynamite was kind of new. Steel was kind of new. A lot of kids yeah. got blown up. Uh, yeah, the material was boiled in big columns and the workers uh, pick and revolve around with sticks. Yeah. The thing is that that cauldron was in a very high temperature. I'm, I'm talking about 400, 500, 600 degrees. Yeah. Wow. And we are talking about fumes and vapors of nitrate, of chemicals. Mm -hmm. So they smelled that stuff and they fell into the pool. Oh God. And that's very common. Even when they started to uh, talk to the company about this, <laughs> the company gave the workers um, a piece of cloth. And that was it. To put on the face. So a lot of workers yeah, died. And of course, the the work, the the working didn't stop. Yeah. So probably lots of material dispatched to the states to to Netherlands was with organic material inside. From, from people who'd fallen in. Oh my god. So no, we can't see any ghosts. But apparently you do see a lot here in this school. Should we go? <laughs> just possess. This is the garage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. So this has been great, hasn't it? Yes. So did you say you do tours for just random general people yes. or occasionally? Yeah, occasionally yeah. If they can find my number. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we'll so, put it on our channel. So do you, do you want us to share your yeah, number? Yeah, yeah, so we can yeah. share WhatsApp number, yes, and that, that'll be... We'll put it on the channel. Yeah, so... Yeah. And of course, people. I'm going to subscribe. Ah, yes, <laughs> please. So we came back in uh, after the guide, just to have a walk around. It's much quieter now. So hopefully we're going to get a more of a feel of a ghost town here. That's what we expected there, like this to be just like... <laughs> was it? <laughs> I did not know. So this part of the city, obviously you can see here, it used to be a train track going along here, ahead of us. And the story is that a woman who was by the train track and there was a kid on the train track about to get hit. And the woman wanted to save the kid, save the child, but unfortunately she got killed by the train just here and they say that at night or well I don't know if it's just at night you can see the figure of a lady just standing here not moving just standing here this is a memorial to her just here but they say yeah you can see at night the figure of a woman standing here people have seen her workers late at night have seen her standing here let's go in here Yeah? 
Ja. And he's just two of you. He's just so creepy. So, yeah, so it is creepy. What's in here anyway? What the fuck? Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Well, was it? It was actually me, right? It was Kasha. <laughs> Prank lords. Prank kings. Um, so anyway, it's a little bit creepy. We're going to go to the square, yeah? Yeah. So we're going to go head back in the school. That squeaking is creepy it as hell. Is a bit hairy on your own, isn't it? That swinging. Swinging swing is creepy. I know it might be the wind, uh, yeah. but that is definitely creepy. Yeah, let's go to school quickly. Yeah, let's go into school. Now, this is supposed to be the most haunted place here, and Humberstone in general is supposed to be the most haunted place in the whole of Chile. Really? Yeah. And this place, it's school especially, is where you're supposed to hear things, children. Oh my gosh! Cash, Cash, you always had a heart attack. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking about haunted, and then suddenly person pops out. <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> miss, miss. Dad, can I go to the toilet? Go in the corner now. I want to go to the toilet. Clean my pants. Clean my pants. That's how we used to. Right, we're going to listen now. Okay. See if we can hear anything. behind you swinging a bit but I don't know if that's if there are any kids here make yourself known what's that Spanish hola niños So that is the end of the Humberstone vlog. So we've got mixed opinions. Yes, it's a cool place. Uh, we have a so great guide. Great, great guide. Tour. Cool, cool history. Uh, downsides. Come ghost on. towns are supposed to be ghost towns. Yeah. This is more like a museum of a town, yes. I'd say. Yeah. Um, like every room everything's set up room. like, yeah, you've got models, you've got like it's been renovated. You've got loads of tourists. Mm -hmm. It's not a proper ghost town, but it's fascinating. Yeah, the nonetheless. history of it, great, what we learned today. Exactly. Um, so you've got your ups and you've got your downs. Yes. I guess you can't have everything. It would be nice to visit a proper ghost town where there's no probably tourism infrastructure to. put in whatsoever. We probably have to drive past some, like tiny ones. So it's a bit of a hit and miss, Humberstone. But I think more on the hit, we did like it, we did enjoy our time here. Yeah, it was really good, really interesting history. Really fascinating. It's sad at some point, obviously, it was going on here. Yeah, the history, so, it was so bad here. The but, rights are uh, so bad yeah, here. Yeah, it's been great. It's great, so we're going to head to our campsite or petrol station. Campsite, campsite. It's uh -huh. a petrol station. We're going to visit our campsite. And then our next vlog is going to be the town of Kike, which is... 40 kilometers away, he's quite close to here. And the same guide, Rene, he said he'll take us around again. We've got Poppy's details. Here. Oh, yeah, so the guide, he was fantastic. Area. He is, his knowledge was incredible. Yeah? And he's perfect English. Yeah, so, English. we'll put his WhatsApp down below. And if you want to come here or anything around Akike, he's the guy to go to. He does a lot of different things. Yeah, so, so just message him and yeah, so he'll sort you out. Three, yeah. So, anyway, we're heading to the exit and we're going to head to our. Bob, our campsite. Bye. Bye. Bye.